Oh, who am I kidding? There's no episodes anymore. Why aren't they coming out? I've been waiting too long. What's the point in living? Roland Wildpaw. It's Hasbro. Oh, uh, Hasbro. <laughs> Hasbro? Get out of my house. Oh, but my dear friend, we come bearing good news. A new Tell Your Tale episode is out. Uh, is this another trick where you just promise a new episode yet you don't release it and you just leave us crying? I might as well just pack all this away. Roland, didn't you hear me? A new Tell Your Tale episode is out. But, hold on. New episode? Really? Well, where is it then? Just take this. <laughs> oh my god. It's finally out! Yay! <laughs> Howdy, Floppers, it's me, Follow Wild Point Contest Code, and welcome back! To the tell your tale reactions! Jeez, oh my god, I feel like it's been so long since I last did a reaction. Like, how long has it been? Like, almost a month? I am just so happy and relieved that we've got a brand new episode out. So, we are going to be reacting to the 44th episode, which is called Secret Admirer by Tom Gidman. Of course, from the thumbnail, this is probably going to be a Hearts and Hoofs Day special episode. Episode. And yep, I'm all dressed for the occasion. I'm wearing all pink. Also, if you can see right here, we have some MLP Generation 5 Pezzes. I found these in the local grocery store and I just decided, fuck it, I'm gonna have them. Shame that they didn't have zip and hitch though. Where are they? So how about we just get rolling? Guess what? It's the mouse. It's finally back for another episode. So you're lucky, Mouse, because all I'm going to be giving you today is a good smack of the fist. Let's begin! Hey, wake up, Izzy! She's got such a wacky eye mask, but come on, wake up! It's time for a new episode! Yeah, that's an oof stay. I get that. I guess that survived the apocalypse. You're A-OK, -okay, because it's a new episode day. Let's go! Hmm, Sip, what are you watering right there? I love that plant pot she's got. Oh, I hope Zip sends, like, a letter to Hitch. Happy Hearts and Hose Day, buddy. <laughs> she doesn't feel that confident. She instantly friend-zoned her. Oh, I imagine that. Why is it? Oh, I guess she's got, like, a scientific admiration for them. Mother Butterfly is already terrified of it. It's not even grown yet. Yep, predictable. She's, like, the tough girl who doesn't need a man. <laughs> She's already dressed like Cupid. Oh, look at that choker around her. I should have wear my necklace today. Miss Snips a lot doesn't look that happy about the confidence of Izzy. Oh, what's your... That's her like imagination. What? Did I just... Hey, look, there's Lumi's pony soda. Yeah, she sold that away. Oh, that's a very good cameo. But look, this is something out of Pinkie Pie's mind. It's all wild. Yeah, it doesn't look that festive, don't you think? No one loves Hearts and Hops. Oh, that's a bit tragic. Is she going to, like, forcefully give it around? Hello, Posey. I've missed her as well. God, no one loves Valentine's. Oh, come on, Posey. At least have a heart. Hey, Fifi! Are your God, how fast is she running? Oh, God, just break. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> oh, I love Hitch getting splattered with any kind of food. Oh, whoa, I hear a song. Yes, I'm so glad there's a musical in this one. Yeah, this is like a rock and roll Valentine's. Yes! Whoa, shit. Better be careful. Spreading the love. Oh, this is my ideal song. Because this is all about me. Get her hitch. Ah, oh, not even the animals are loving Valentine's. 
What? What a disaster this is. Oh! Hey, Misty and Oveline! I guess Misty loves it. Oh, no, you don't, little girl. You will not appreciate the love. <laughs> oh, no, Missy, don't do that. I'm sure someone appreciates it. Oh, oh. Oh, poor Izzy. I guess I'm finally feeling for her. Gosh. Uh, you did go a little bit overboard, Izzy, but I understand your point. You just want everyone to embrace, like, everyone else. Friendship. Love, friendship, these aren't things you can magic up with cards and heart-shaped balloons. Yep. You know, like a seed. Oh, that's a really nice contrast. <laughs> okay, look at that evolution for a Venus flytrap. Oh no! Oh, thank God that it survived. It spat it out. Doesn't like its meal. This episode is incredibly cheesy, but I love it. Oh, it had twins! Yeah! That's what I love to see! This episode was a total win! Oh, let me hear it. Now I know who you're. I know who you're thinking about, Zip, Hitchy Boy. Oh, and the crew just got along after all. At least someone had a heart. Woo! What a glorious return back to Tell Your Tale. This episode rocked for Izzy. Secret admirer. God damn! I think this might be Izzy's best episode so far or maybe second best to like all that jazz i think these i think those two episodes are coinciding together with the best because damn they emphasized izzy's character so on point and it even made me feel emotional for her a bit at the end like oh that's how you should display izzy in the spotlight just give her all of that wackiness and wildness to her character and the craftsmanship of how of all of her interests and maybe go a little bit overboard but not too much that it just becomes unbearable and cringeworthy. This episode displayed it in the correct way. I really love the contrasting messages in this episode because it addressed both sides of like Valentine's Day because you know on one side you've got all the couples and the relationships that are all happy together and they're celebrating with all with all wonder and then you've got like the single people and the people that just want like more more of a friendship than a lover because you know they don't really want all of that jazz. It was very passionate of Izzy to to try and at least shine a little love around Maritime Bay so that everyone doesn't have to be so miserable and downhearted on a holiday that's in general meant to be so positive for like everyone involved and not just those who are in love because you know it's all about coming together and we're just sharing the love between each other it doesn't have to be restricted between just couples and best friends everyone in the world can feel loved and not just yourself and not those who are just got no one in mind and yeah yeah, it may have been a bit cheesy and a little too much on the nose in this episode because it was pushed so much in front of our faces the entire time. But I can appreciate for what this episode was trying to do because, yeah, I think this episode was one of the happiest we've ever had. And once again, Izzy and Zip make quite the interesting duo in this episode because we've seen them before in Taking Flight and yet again in this episode, they worked so awesomely together. I know they aren't a ship at all. Oh, and no, I wouldn't really consider them to be a ship because I think Izzy would be a bit too much for Zip because, yeah, I think she should be paired with Hitchy Boy. But I do love them as best friends because they contrast and they, like, spread out from one another. They do have, like, different, like, passions, but they understand one another and they can easily use each other for, like, more motivation for doing the right thing. Zip did have a sunny moment at the end with the Venus flytrap and it's starting out as a seed and then eventually at the end it just blossoms into a proper plant and she used that to display the message of friendship and how people can be loved without the need for like excessive amounts of passion being spread around the whole place. Oh, that was really sweet of Zip and oh, Izzy, she, she was so good in this episode. I'm sorry. This is what dumpster diving and pretty much every single bad Izzy episode that I may have put in the Nay and Rusty Nay sections. This episode is what those episodes should have been in retrospect because 
Gosh damn! Izzy was a superstar in this one. I loved her. The musical too that was featured in this episode, great work. I loved it. I did love the uh, the rock and roll like genre applied to it and the fast and rhythmic beats that it had. Oh, I think that's now a favorite song of Tell Your Tale to me. One setback I think this episode has was just the heartlessness of the all the residents of Mad Time Bay. Like, yeah, I know that Izzy was being a bit excessive and over the top with her celebrations, but she she was just trying to cheer you up a bit, like, come on everyone, at least have a heart. At least Misty does, because she accepted the gift that Izzy gave to her, but then Opaline just went and... She just wanted it away. She doesn't want any of that crap. Secret Admirer? I would say that you were a good episode. You will probably go somewhere within the yay section. It's either a low yay or maybe a high average. It'll be in between those two. It was certainly not a nay, definitely not. And you will see for yourselves right away with my five Tell Your Tale episode rankings here. God, I miss this list and yep, yeah, it's still the same. It may have been changed a little bit, but it's still the same and Whoa, maybe it'll be somewhere in the yay section. Who knows? I hope you all agree with me. Secret Admira, I may have been a little early to the Valentine's celebration, but wonderful work there. You did great. So, Flopbuds, don't forget to like and hoof tap this video and comment your thoughts down below of what you thought of Secret Admira and subscribe to my channel for more reactions and many more content coming soon. And also, don't forget to leave a pledge on my Patreon page down in the description below so you can help support me in making these fantastic videos more consistently. And I shall see you all very soon. Goodbye! And before the video ends, I would like to shout out my Silver Fluffbutt patrons, Comet Speed, Louise Wade, and Alex Smith, and my Gold Fluffbutt patron, the Pate and Growerful Trisky. Thank you so much for your love and support.